24 hours. How's my UI team doing? Still working on softwares. Oh, yeah. yeah. Still working putting on things together, working on the UI. So um, okay. just putting UI in the project in 3D space and then deploying it, uh, the first build on HoloLens. What are we gonna see through the HoloLens, through the cowl? So on the right side, there'll be our database research. All the criminals. Yes, and then this side, we're planning to have like weather information. And then on the top, we will have a backend server communication that can send videos or um, audio files. Are we gonna be able to record video yes. as we go? Yeah. So, that's cool. Mm -hmm. He's working on lie detector. So how does a lie detector work? Are you just listening to the tone of someone's voice and uh, like certain facial aspects? With Microsoft Cognitive Services, we're gonna be using uh, their emotion recognition and we're going to do some research on which emotions people are most likely to exhibit if they're lying. Sweet. Should I go talk to the fab team? Yes. Yeah. Oh look, they're doodling. Because we are deconstructing the HoloLens, mm -hmm. will this one just be a little bit slimmer? Well, actually, we're hoping we don't have to deconstruct the HoloLens for this. The front of the HoloLens kind of looks like a sort of like futuristic sunglass type of thing. True. So we're actually leaving this completely open. Oh. So it's kind of like a shield for his eyes. We're trying to just integrate it in so okay. that mm -hmm. it's part of it. We're going to have basically a what we're calling the soft layer underneath that's going to have the wiring and stuff, and then we have the shell. So the way we kind of think of it, it's like you put your sock on and then your shoe. How hot can the HoloLens get? Does the HoloLens put off heat at all? Well, we're adding a bunch more than the Iron Man, so Yeah, it's like... we're going to actually sew in conductive uh, thread. Okay. So the wires are actually a part of the, uh, like the, the fabric. Of it. Yeah. Right. We can kind of avoid any sort of uh, bulk or heat that might okay. make the person inside uncomfortable. So how heavy do you think it's gonna be? Well, we're hoping to kind of keep a little bit of weight out of it because as opposed to with that one where we have the battery pack in it, what yeah. we're actually gonna do is we're gonna try and make like shoulder pads as well. <gasps> and we're gonna hide the batteries in that and then so have the nice. wire just run out there. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> okay. So hopefully that'll take a little bit of the size and weight off of the helmet and make it a little more comfortable. One of the biggest things that happened with this one is that you had to slip the entire thing That's over right. the, the HoloLens, yes. which made the bottom of it way bigger than it had to be. With this, we're actually gonna split our shell into two parts. So like it's gonna come out So this yes, way. you can put it okay. right over the top of it without having to need to account for anything for the HoloLens. Mm -hmm. How many different pieces do you think we're gonna have to glue together? Is it gonna be like front and back? Or are we gonna have like quarters? We're actually going to try and integrate magnets. <laughs> Yeah, I know magnets, that's a scary word at this point. They're not gonna be spinning at high speeds. Okay. You know, no, no risk there. And we're also gonna have the ears, which are gonna be in a few parts too. You know what, I never asked. Bruce Wayne can't have his voice just be in Bruce Wayne voice. That's are true, Are we doing true. voice changes? We are. So that is actually what we're gonna do with Arduino. So we're gonna have a microphone that sits right here. And there's also a speaker that is going to be over here oh, on the chin. Piece. So we're open speaker kind of right yep. in this front area, okay. but then on the inside we can have the microphone. We just have to make sure there's no like feedback between right. the two, yeah, that's but gonna be a big just thing. aiming them Concern. Uh, opposite directions should be fine. I'm setting up the project, the Unity project, um, and adding some UIs. Unity is the game engine we are using to deploy our app. We are using that with Visual Studio. End of the day, our goal is to check on HoloLens to have something. Yeah, he's working on the uh, database too as well. Facial recognition slash criminal database. So the database itself is just information. It's just storing the information about the, the people that we want to track as criminals in our application. A facial recognition API um, calls for their face ID, for details about their face, like how their face looks, some emotions from the emotions API, because it's, it's, uh, it's running on a neural network. I'm putting together a visual representation of what's going to go into the actual program. I'm putting it together in an image editing software so that we can actually see what ideally will happen after I, I code. This is our first UI build, and we have an animation sequence of bats flying in. So the big red circle is the vision area. So this is exact area the UI will be. So the center circle is the cursor of the screen and here will be the weather data. In the center of the screen, we are planning to show that, hey, how many people or faces are actually in front of Batman. We are planning to have face uh, on the right side with the criminal information just below that. And the last thing will be the Alfred communication with the Batcave, and that will be on the top. Oh man, we need so many mics. We need one for the ear. Okay, yeah, just so ear mic. One for the voice changer. 
One for the speech. I'm just trying to think of where it's gonna have extra room. Yeah. Maybe up here-ish to here. I mean, they were saying the nose, because that's always gonna be like pointed, but. Right. It's gonna have to be in the forehead or like the tip of the nose, because the chin is kind of filled up. Yeah. Well, hey, Abiji, was the voice changer one or two chips? I think two. Two? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so we have two voice changers. I think one of them is an amp, the other is a, uh, the actual like, brains. Oh, okay. Yeah, if we have a cape or something, that literally just covers it yeah. all. Yeah, plus it would look cool. Yeah. This is tough. <laughs> Well, we're getting a lot of actual wire layout done, which is good. I'm not sure if it's answering more questions than it's causing, <laughs> but it's going in a direction, which is yes. good. The first mic is actually going to come to, to the HoloLens. The thermal mm -hmm. camera is going to go down to the brain. Um, and then our voice changing mic, that's going to be over here, but it's going to be on the soft part. Uh, we also need that to connect to the HoloLens. So that's one thing we're going to try and figure out is how do you get it from one layer to the other layer, that's probably gonna be some sort of manual connection, I'm guessing. What if the conductive wiring we put like on the magnet, when you attach them, the two pieces touch together, then you don't have to manually plug anything, they just clamp together on their own. That's pretty smart. That's a good idea. <laughs> as long as we can secure them mm -hmm. and be guaranteed that these will go together, that would that would solve a lot, a lot of problems. Of problems yeah. <laughs> now we just have to wait till we get the parts. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as we put these two pieces together, our, our wires are going to be connected, and that's it. Nice job. Bring it in. Right now, I'm working on the HoloLens camera. We successfully deployed just a base uh, project with a sphere in it. This was the first successful build. Hey, Cortana, record. I'm not getting any feedback. Okay, I'm in Cortana's menu. Record. She didn't hear anything. <laughs> Record. She was more annoying here than when she was in Halo 4. How do I get rid of the window? The bloom again. No, that just brought up another window. Because <laughs> I'm recording you. I see a circle. Cortana doesn't like me. And that makes me mad. But otherwise, it's, it's pretty cool. We were figuring out the maximum, let's say, X and Y dimensions for the HoloLens, just so we know kind of the dimensions we're working with. Hopefully what we'll have is a helmet that is not much bigger than the HoloLens, so it doesn't look bobble-heady. First, first we gotta, we gotta compare it around. I really sure. Sorry, just something. There you go. There's a, a lot of space. Like, I can fit my whole hand in here. So Says we mine. did a cube test, which was basically getting a cube to render, and then I'll let you guys take over the hollow lens. There it is. Wow. So my sphere is gone. Location. Is it just around here somewhere? Yes, yeah, somewhere. <laughs> Good luck finding it. Um, just keep saying, trying to map your surroundings. The app was there, <laughs> and then it started mapping, and the app disappeared. Okay, there's the sphere, so we're right in place. Oh, there we go, it's right there, I see it. Okay. Now it's recording. Man. It's gonna move kind of with you a bit. Okay, oh, it's glitching around a bit. I'm keeping an eye on it, it's all right. Oh, well, getting, I glitched into it. <laughs> and it's, it's gone, where'd it go? Oh, there, it's right, oh, it's flying away. <laughs> It's really tiny now over there. <laughs> That's cool. It's kind of weird. It, all, it looks like it's only picking up my words. I'm Batman. I am the knight. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. But if we try to build it, it doesn't work. So now we have to find a workaround for the workaround we already found. You guys all know the bat signal, but get ready for the hack signal. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Hacker Labs. And if you want to keep up with the progress of the team, make sure you like and subscribe to get in on all the action. And click on that bell below so you get notified when the next episode is ready. Who knows what they're going to do next time?